This video will show you how to set up call authority from your number barn phone number to an outside active phone number. First, log in to your Number Barn account. Once you're logged in, click on Numbers from the navigation bar. You'll see your numbers on the page below. If the number is on the forward plane already, you'll see Forward listed. If the number is on the park plan and you want to forward it, you'll first want to upgrade your plan. To do that, click on the Number Options, then click Change Plan and choose the plan that you'd like to use for your call forwarding. Then click Change My Plan. Once it says Forward, that's how you know you'll be able to set up the call forwarding. To begin, click on the number that you'd like to work with. Then, you'll see the Calls tab is automatically selected. Below the Calls tab, you'll see Send All Calls to a and a drop-down menu. If you click the drop-down menu, you'll notice three options, Forward, Menu, and Voicemail. In this video, we're going to focus on forwarding to an outside number only. If you'd like to see how to send calls to a menu or directly to voicemail, please click the corresponding link in the video description below. For now, click Forward. In the phone number box, enter the phone number of the physical telephone that you'd like calls to forward to. Then, you'll want to select the caller ID. This is the incoming caller ID that will show up on the physical phone that you're answering. If you have show me caller's number, this is going to be the phone number of the party that is calling you. If you select show me the call number, this means your number barn phone number is going to show up on your phone. This option is really helpful if you're trying to differentiate between a business call and a personal call. That way you'll know the call is coming from your number of our number. When you've made your selection, go ahead and click Save Changes. Calls will automatically be forwarded to the number that you've entered into the box. You can always come back and change it at any time. Go ahead and click voicemail and text, then you'll see ring my phone and send calls to voicemail after and a drop down menu. When you click that drop down menu, there are several options. Never voicemail off means that the voicemail messages will be left on the outside number. If you choose immediately, this means calls will be forwarded immediately to voicemail. They will not be forwarded. If you choose one of the seconds, this is the ring time that the call will ring to the outside number before it goes to voicemail. On average, 15 seconds is about the amount of time you'll want. It's about two, three rings. But if you want a longer time, you can select that amount of time. Just make your change and then click click Save Changes. Another important setting is your voicemail message. This will be the message that your callers will hear when they're about to leave you a voicemail. We have a default greeting, but you can also create your own. The subscriber you have dialed is unavailable. Please leave your message at the tone. When you have finished, hang up or press the pound sign for more options. To create your own, click the Change button and upload the voicemail file in an M4A, MP3, or WAV file from your computer to use as your outgoing message. Note that this voicemail message is capped at two minutes. You can also choose to record by phone. If you select this option, go ahead and enter the phone number that you'll be recording the message from, such as your cell phone. Click Call Me to Record and you'll be prompted to record your greeting. Then you'll be able to return here and click Save Message. If a voicemail is left on your Number Barn account and you'd like to receive a voicemail notification with that audio file, toggle the switch to On. When you see On here, it means that voicemail messages will be sent to the email address in the box below. You can also add a secondary email address if you'd like the message to go to two people. Then click Save Changes. Thank you. 
when it comes to usage on the call forwarding plan, you can view a quick overview of how many minutes you've used in this billing period on the numbers page. You'll see the amount of minutes used out of the amount you have allotted. In this case, this number is used two minutes out of 300 minutes allotted. To see a more detailed breakdown of minute usage, click call logs from the navigation bar. From here, you can filter back in time and see current activity and review all of the calls that came through, including listening to voicemail messages, calling someone back, or blocking a number. If you scroll down to the very bottom of the page, you'll see how many calls and how many minutes were used in the time period. Have more questions? Feel free to reach out to our customer support team at support at numberbarn.com.